Hello, hello, and welcome. It's uh, Bill Skladowski, and it's What's New Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we give you some uh, new and improved and cool iPhone tips. Today is no exception. Uh, today, using your iPhone as a tape, tape measure. Tape measure. Yes, you can use your iPhone to actually measure the size of things. Small stuff, big stuff, a room, whatever. And if you want to know how to do that, well, you're in the right place. Every Wednesday, of course, we do What's New Wednesday. Every Friday is iPhone Friday, uh, where we do a little bit longer, more expanded um, training kind of a thing. And uh, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't been there yet, you might want to uh, please go and check out the blog at BillSkladowski.com, new and improved. And we'll talk a little bit about that coming up later. But if you miss a video, you'll find them all right here at the blog at BillSkladowski.com. So for now, though, let's dig into the whole um, measuring thing. And there's going to be a little bonus tip with that as well with your iPhone. So let's head over to the phone. All right. So uh, on the phone, the app you are looking for is called, wait for it, measure. <laughs> and if you haven't looked for it, there's the app right there, the little black, uh, it looks like a ruler or a little, uh, you know, s sliding, what do you, what'd you call that? Remember those from years and years and years ago? If you're old enough, you'll remember that, a, um, a sliding, um, wow, I forget, my dad had one of those. I forget what it was. A, a, a slide rule, a slide rule. <laughs> Boy, I'll take ancient technology for a thousand, please, Alex. All right, so anyway, if you haven't, you can always remember, just have Siri do it for you. Open measure, and she'll open it for you. Now, this is what it looks like when it comes up. There, there's, there's, the, uh, there's the computer where I'm doing this whole show from, right? So it asks you to move the phone a little bit just to kind of get it used to doing something. And then when it comes time to measure things, and I'm going to go down here, look at our handy dandy clipboard, right? What it will do is it'll say, find a spot, find, look, it even says, move farther away, give it a little room, and then find a spot. And when you want to find the starting spot, like I'm going to start right on the edge of this clipboard, then you click on the plus sign down there at the bottom. So I'm going to click plus, right? And then as I move across the clipboard, look at, look at what happens. It measures it out and it shows you the distance. And then when I get to the other side, right, then you can tap on the plus sign again and it will show you the distance, right? Now, if you change your mind, hit the clear button up at the top. No big deal. <coughs> All right, let's give it a try. So I'm going to stand the clipboard up on my, on my other monitor here and we're going to give it a shot. So I'm going to hit the clear button. We're going to start all over again. It says find any nearby surface to measure, right? All right, I'm going, to, I'm going to give it a try, and I'm going to tap on the plus button, and then I'm going to go across, and I get to the other side, and I tap on the plus button again, and it locks it in place, and look what it says. Nine inches across the clipboard. You know, so awesome, cool, and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Bill, is it really nine inches? Well, guess what? We just so happen to have our leftover, um, you know, real live tape measure here. So I'm going to put the tape measure on it, and I'm going to, that's easier in real life. I'm going to measure across it, and can you read that? Can you read it? Can you read it? Ah, uh, it's a little out of focus. Nine inches across. In other words, the phone was right. What a surprise. So, like I said, this, let me jump back over to the phone there, show you the app. Like it says, it wants you to kind of move it around a little to get started on it. But if you, you know, so it kind of can see the, the neighborhood, see the, the space that it's in. Oh, it locked up on me. Hang on, let me try this again. I'm going to go back. I'm going to close all of the apps here, and then I'm going to restart it. Let's see. Oh, it did not stick. Hmm. Hang on, hang on, let me get rid of that. Let me add it back in iPhone. Mm, Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm gonna try again. iPhone. Uh-oh, I'm having, I'm having some difficulty here, folks. I don't know what's going on with that, why it's not showing up in the iPhone box. 
I don't know what's going on. But you've got the important part anyway. You've got the important uh, thing about it anyway. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to try one, just one more time, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, 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 iPhone. No, it doesn't do it. Can't explain it. One other thing, I'll do it this way, and, and then we'll just talk about it for a second. One other thing with that measure app, all right, here, I'm back at the measure app. Ah, shows my reflection. Along with measuring, the app at the bottom also has an app that shows at the very bottom, see where it says measure on one side, and then it shows, the other one shows, er, boy, that's hard to read, and I apologize with the camera there, it's hard to read that, but the other one says level, and it is exactly what it says it is. So if I tap on level, now when I hold the phone, if I lay it down on something, for example, I can, if it, look, it's like a real live, remember those old levels that you used to, again, that I had, that I got from my father, you know, with a little bubble in it, hence the term, that guy's about a half bubble off level. That's exactly what this is. It shows whether the phone is on level or not, which by the way, would be great for, oh, I don't know if you were putting a picture on a wall and you needed to make sure that it was level, or if you were uh, standing up a piece of something, a, 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 a bookshelf or something in the room and you needed to make sure that it was absolutely level, you get both of those things all in the same app and that app is called Measure. So there you go. So again, it's installed on your phone by default. I haven't used it in so long, I'll be honest with you, that when I went to use it for the first time, that when I did, it did that reinstalling the app message that I'm, I think I mentioned that on one of the videos last week, that now on your iPhone, if you don't use an app in a certain amount of time, the iPhone will offload it, which means basically delete it from your phone, but it saves any information that you might've had. Now with the measuring app and the level, there's no information to save, but if, for example, the phone offloads an app that had some, like a game or something that kept your high score, it would remember that. Having a little throwback here to last week's uh, thing. But I'm just saying that uh, just if you haven't used it or you've never used it on your phone, be prepared for the phone to say we're reinstalling the app because that's exactly what happened with mine. So that's going to do that. All right, so that's today's uh, quick little What's New Wednesday, both the measuring app and the Level app, a two for one, all in the same app called Measure. So as always, if you uh, want to get to it, you can either just use the search bar or make it real easy on yourself and just say, start Measure, and it starts. Oh, I didn't hold it down far enough. Hold, hold, hold. Boy, I'm having a great day today. Oh, start Measure. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Siri and I are having a difficult day today. And you know why? Somebody, for you, for you folks of an astrological bent, somebody told me today was the start of Mercury retrograde. And if you know what that means, congratulations. And if you don't, don't worry about it. All right, let's wrap this up. If uh, you've enjoyed this for today, I would invite you over to visit the website at BillSkolodowski.com, and that's exactly what you're going to see when you land there. And when you do, I would strongly encourage you to put uh, to click on that big button that says "Click Me." Obvious, right? Click Me, uh, and it will take you to a page where you can put in just your name and your email address. And every week on the weekend, you will get the free recap of the two lessons or two videos from the week. What's new Wednesday? iPhone Friday. And then, of course, on iPhone Friday, we usually also have a free handout, uh, you know, just something that you can download and print on your own computer, a handout of how to do exactly the things we talked about uh, on iPhone Friday. So again, head over to BillSkolodowski.com. The address is uh, right, well, here, let me put the other, uh, the, put the correct address there at the bottom. There it is, BillSkolodowski.com. And uh Push the uh, click on the click me button, works on your phone, your tablet, your computer, works on anything. And then you'll get the recap for free every weekend with a link to the two videos. So if you missed a video, you can go watch it. And if you uh, would like the uh, handout, you can download it and keep it for your very own. And believe me, they're collector's items. Okay, maybe not, but someday you never know. 
As always, if you have questions or comments or would like more information about anything that you see on any of our videos, feel free to leave it either here on Facebook if you're watching this live or recorded now, thank you. Uh, if you're watching it on the blog, comments below. If you're watching it on the YouTube channel, same thing. I read and respond to all the comments personally. And if there's a good question or a, a, an idea for a subject for a, one of our videos, well then, you know, maybe your idea will be our next iPhone Friday or What's New Wednesday video. But for now, that's going to do it. Have yourself a great rest of the week. Stay safe out there. And uh, we will talk to you on Friday for iPhone Friday. Thanks for joining us. Take care. Bye-bye.